Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, I'm Carrie, and for today's Foodie Friday video, I'm sharing how to make this delicious pumpkin spice cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. Today's recipe comes from Taste of Home, and you're going to need butter, sugar, room temperature eggs, solid pack pumpkin, flour, pumpkin pie spice, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, baking soda, ground ginger, and buttermilk. We'll get to the frosting ingredients later on. To start off, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in a large bowl, you want to combine the butter and sugar and cream it until light and fluffy. It's been a while since I made a video and I'm so happy to be back. The last video I think I posted was maybe July. I've had a busy couple months getting back to school, getting things all arranged, but the videos are back. There'll be another video next week. So let me know if you want any type of um, more fall, more, I mean, it might be a little bit after Halloween, but some something related to that, let me know, or just any suggestions in general. But anyway, you just want to cream that butter and sugar until it's nice and light, creamy, and fluffy. Now, before I continue with this video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you like to see next, share this video with a friend, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. We are at 307 subscribers, yay! And we're about a third of the way to my goal of a thousand. So if you could please help me out by subscribing, that'd be greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's continue with the video. Now for this next step, I'm going to go ahead and add in the eggs one at a time. I've been really working on my um, one-handed egg cracks, and I've been getting pretty good at them, you know. A couple of them, you know, I'm not great all the time, but I'm getting better. Um, I just think it's like a fun little skill to learn, but you can also just obviously crack an egg the normal way. And you just remove any shells and then just mix it all up until you have a nice creamy mixture and all the eggs have been incorporated. At this point, you might notice that it's like kind of a pretty wet consistency, but that's totally okay. That's totally normal because, you know, there's a lot of eggs in this recipe. I mean, three. I think that's kind of a lot. And um, the texture will get better after we add in the other ingredients. Now it is time to add the pumpkin. That's right, a whole can of pumpkin. That's kind of a lot. Um, I know that other types of recipe sometimes might not always call for a whole can because sometimes the texture of pumpkin can mess with the quality of desserts. But with cupcakes, it's all going to work out. All the ingredients, you know, this recipe has been tested before and it has stellar reviews. It comes out perfect in the end. So go ahead and add in that whole can and mix it all up. Now in a separate bowl, it's time to combine all of the dry ingredients. This means the flour. Pie spice, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, baking soda, and ginger. I think the purpose of mixing it all up now is so that, you know, it's more evenly uniform so that when we pour it into the wet mixture, you're not just going to have one part that's like a big clump of nutmeg and instead the flour is going to like mix it all up and then it'll be more even. That's my only guess. I've never really understood why recipes um, would do this other than for that reason. But anyway, you just want to mix it all up until it's all combined. I went a little aggressive with the whisk. You can whisk it more softly, but you know, I was a little impatient and want it to be mixed very quickly. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients and the milk into the wet mixture. This is going to go in a batch of three batches of the dry and two batches of the wet. Now, I honestly do not know why recipes do this. I don't know why you don't just do all like all the wet and all the dry I don't know why you mix it up like this but it's been a lot of recipes that have worked out really well for me so I just continue to do it and you just want to mix on a low speed until it's just well incorporated and repeat this until all the ingredients are done you may have noticed at the beginning that the wet mixture after mixing in the pumpkin it looks kind of funky but I mean the texture does end up um, looking good in the end so nothing to worry about there And now it comes time to fill the muffin tins. I just have some very cute little wrappers that I got one year from Target, but you can use any types of muffin wrappers. You can also just um, heavily grease the muffin tins or use reusable ones, whatever you would like. But I would scoop in, it's about a, a ice cream scoops amount. I'm using an ice cream scooper, which is about two or three tablespoons. You can also just go in with two spoons if you'd like, but I find that the ice cream scooper gives you that perfect amount. Basically, you just wanna fill them up about, 
I'm going to say two thirds of the way, seven eighths of the way. I know those are two very different measurements. Basically almost all the way, but like not to the top because they will, they will get bigger. They will expand a little bit. And anyway, you just want to repeat that with as many trees as you have. And you can kind of just like go in and make them a little more even after you do. So the recipe says it makes two dozen cupcakes. And I would say it does make around there. It made a little less for me, but that's also because I ended up putting some in a sheet pan as well, which you'll see in the next clip. But basically, um, I wanted to do this very cool and cute thing where I saw... You could cut little pumpkin shapes out of a sheet pan and then use that as a decoration instead of using a little pumpkin candy. However, this batter was so moist, which is a good thing. I love a moist batter, but that meant that I couldn't really get any pumpkin shapes out of it. So kind of the tray was kind of a waste. Like I did eat them. I did share this with my family and we did enjoy it. But I wouldn't recommend doing this step unless you're trying to make a layer cake. If you're trying to make a layer cake, this is a great way to do it on a sheet pan. If not, totally skip this step though. But I just want to show you how I filled it up. And now it's time to put these in the oven. I put one tray in at a time because I only had one muffin tray. And then I put the thing at the bottom. And they baked for about 20 to 25 minutes. Start checking after 20 and then check every minute or so. And then when it's time to take them out. Look at how beautiful they were. They risen and they looked so good. And I was so excited to taste one, but I had to wait, let them cool. But I was very happy with how they turned out. They look super fall, super pumpkin, super fun, super delicious. Now it's time to make the frosting. All you're going to need is eight ounces of cream cheese, softened, half a cup of butter, softened, about four cups of confectioner sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and if you'd like, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, but I did not want to have cinnamon cream cheese frosting. I just wanted plain, so I omitted that. The first step is to just beat the cream cheese and butter until fluffy. At this point also, you want to let your muffins cool for maybe about five minutes um, just in your new kitchen, but then a little chefy tip here, little Cooks by Carrie tip, I'm sure I didn't invent this. I'm sure many other people do this, but it's just something that I always do. Um, I like to take a tray and then I put all the cupcakes on it, like a um, a tray that is like at room temperature. And then you clear some room in your freezer and you stick it in. Make sure it's not under something that like could easily melt. And you just leave the cupcakes in there for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. They get chilled and then they're instantly ready to be frosted. Love, love, love this tip because... As I mentioned, sometimes I can get a little impatient and I just don't like to wait sometimes. So this ensures you that you're going to have nice room temperature slash, yeah, room temperature. They're, they could be a little chill, but mostly just room temperature cupcakes, perfect to frost. Now that the butter and the cream cheese is all creamed together, you want to go ahead and add in your powdered sugar. I went the extra mile and sifted it. This is totally unnecessary, but I've noticed that sometimes when you sift it, it just like gets rid of those clumps and you don't have to worry about anything getting um, any weird sugar clumps being in the frosting. But you can skip this step. Now that all the powdered sugar has been added, you want to mix it all up. Start slow because you don't want it to spill everywhere. But then you can increase it little by little once it gets mostly mixed. It's a little hard to see here, but I think you get the general idea. It's just trying to whip it up. And slowly but surely, it will come together. Also, I'm not really sure when I added the vanilla, but it got added at some point. So at some point, throw in that vanilla. Also, um, when you're finished whipping up the frosting, if you would like for it to have um, a little bit more of a whipped feeling and a little less heavy, go ahead and add a few splashes of milk, a few few splashes of heavy cream by that I mean maybe a one tablespoon it gets it nice and fluffy but I mean it's pretty fluffy on its own so it's just what you want if you want a little lighter or you want to keep it a little richer like it is and now it was time to frost all the cupcakes I just laid them on my counter and then I went in with a makeshift piping bag I couldn't actually find a piping bag so I just went in with a ziploc that's a pro little tip that you can do. If you can't find a piping bag, just stick a tip in the bottom. Or honestly, you don't need a tip if you don't have any. So don't worry about that. Just makes it look a little nicer if you have the tip. And then you want to go ahead 
and um, fill a bag up and then just cut the tip off. Now, you'll see me doing this thing, which is sort of similar to if anyone's ever heard of Georgetown Cupcakes. It's similar to the signature swirl. You start in the middle, you pipe around, and then you bloop at the top. I don't know if that's a good, if that's a good word or not. Um, but the icing, it was um, a little bit, like, it's not super... I mean, it is very thick, but it's not super thick. So just be careful because it does come out quickly. But yeah, this is how beautiful they were. They just, I don't know, they were so good. And guys, the combination of pumpkin with cream cheese icing, unmatched. Perfect fall treat. Perfect for any occasion. And here they are. Um, you can also, for a little extra tip, you could shave some of some toasted um, cupcake crumbs on top that you saw in the first shot. I did that. I just took some of the extra I had. You can put place it in your oven on like maybe a convection bake for a few minutes or I did it in my air fryer for a few minutes and then you just kind of um shave those little bits on doesn't taste like anything adds a great touch all right guys that's it for this video thank you all so, so much for watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe and the like also please follow me on instagram at cooks by carrie i post lots of fun photos of the food i cook and other updates and such i'll be back next week for a new video bye guys